everyone, I'm Ruth Taylor welcoming you today 15 of our success habits challenge. We're halfway there and I want to remind you of the five habits that we're seeking to adopt over these 31 days. One, daily rewrite your goals. Two, rise early. Three, read more, engage in advanced planning and express gratitude. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my family. I am close to my mother, my brother, my sister, um, living in Jamaica. And whenever I need anything, I can always count on them. And I believe they can count on me too. Not everybody is blessed with a family like that. So I'm grateful for that. Today, as we continue, when trees talk, I'm going to be talking about, no tree in particular, but how trees teach us about being our own kind and our own special brand. And I'm reading from this book, When Trees Talk, which is my book. You can find it on Amazon, Smashwords, or you can go to my website, www.extramileja.com and sign up for a free copy. All right, let's get into it. If you see everybody around, take time. Don't be too eager to follow others, a Jamaican proverb. It is often said that variety is the spice of life. There is no one type of animals, no one type of phones, no one type of cars, houses, or trees. Trees come in different shapes and sizes. There are several types of trees or tree species in the world. These act as a habitat for over 140,000 animal species and other microorganisms. In the same way, human beings are unique. No one else has our DNA or our fingerprints, and as such, we should strive not to live like everyone else. Our uniqueness should be celebrated. This means we should seek to follow our own unique paths, even if we're in the same field. There's a Jamaican proverb that reflects this truth. Every oar has a stick of bush. When diversity and variety are not celebrated, we have pride, racism, classism, disunity, jealousy, and all the ills that follow. In the tree kingdom, the trees are not competing with each other, but each develops and bears its own kind of fruit based on its inbuilt design. In my backyard are seven trees, and each occupies its own space, and they're not competing with each other even though they're in the same soil and they need the same ingredients for growth, air, soil, air, and water. Um, imagine if we as humans could pattern the trees in my backyard. How beautiful would our world be? If trees can do it, why not us? Oh, the wisdom of the trees. And so I'm going to go through three lessons that um, the trees teach us in this regard. Produce after your own kind. Find your niche. Two, there is a market for your niche and brand. Three, celebrate your uniqueness. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Know your identity. Study your tree, plant your tree, bear your fruit. You never see a mango tree producing lime or lime trees producing oranges. Stop trying to be like everyone else. Even within the same field, there is variety. There are different varieties of mangoes, different varieties of limes and bananas. Develop your own brand. Become an expert in your own field. There is a niche for your market. Not everyone loves mar mangoes. I love mangoes, but some people don't even eat mangoes. Some prefer apples and sour soap. For varying reasons, people have different tastes and appetites. So do not fret about the abundance of trees. And in my case, the fact that there are many books on the market. In the same way we have our preference for fruits, so will I have my own set of followers, clients, and consumers, and so will you. There will always be a market for your harvest, that is for your brand. Your gift will make room for you. Don't worry about a glut on the marketplace. Every ore have him stick a bush. I <clears throat> want to go on to the third lesson. I love to show up the trees in my backyard, especially when it's harvest time. I love the fact that there are varieties. Each tree imparts a different lesson, serves a specific purpose, and meets a specific need. And for this reason, the trees teach us to celebrate our uniqueness. Um, the more we celebrate our uniqueness, the more 
we will also appreciate the uniqueness of others. Don't be a mango tree envying the cherry tree. Since there's a place for your gifts and abilities, there will be a place where you are celebrated. So in closing, what are you, who are you competing with or are jealous of? Who are you comparing yourself to? Have you discovered your niche? Are you celebrating your uniqueness? Where there is a will, you'll definitely find a way. So stay tuned for tomorrow's tree talk. What actions will you take as a result of this talk? What decisions will you make? So stick with the habits. They are leading somewhere. Remember, life doesn't get better by chance. It gets better by design. So carefully design to win today. And ta for now until our next talk. I'm Ruth Taylor, your life design coach, encouraging you to develop the habits that will lead to your success.